Jason here again from cricketstoreonline.com and I'm very excited in this uh, video review to be bringing you the new uh, 2012 uh, Gun and Wear Epic Cricket Bat. This is also the uh, another one of the new bats that Gun and Wear have brought out, the other one being the Halo. Uh, feel free to have a look at the other video and, and see, what you, see what you have to think about the Halo. Uh, this is the Epic though, this is the orange branded bat. Um, also comes with a gun and work control grip, comes with a uh, slightly oval handle down the bottom and rounded at the top. It's obviously the imported 12-piece cane handle, triple spring, all that sort of stuff that uh, gun and work and all the other top manufacturers bring with their bats. Um, let me just uh, bring this up closer to you. You can have a good look at the gun and work. It's this uh, nice bright orange color. Um, this is the 808 bat. Um, so you've got some good grains, you've got a little bit of discoloration down there, but that's, that's nothing serious. Um, talking about some of the features, some of the things that you'll notice with this bat is you've got a relatively aggressive curve. Nothing too serious though, and then you'll notice uh, differences from the Halo. The Halo had a real thin shoulder at the top on the edge and also had a real thin um, toe section. With the Epic, you're getting a much more even toe, or sorry, my apologies, a much more even edge all the way up. Um, you'll see a slightly different design of the toe, and you'll see a much more concave uh, spine. What you'll also notice on the Epic is that it's got a very pronounced um, swell position. Um, and if you look on the Gunnamo website and you look in the GM book, you'll see that it actually. Um, doesn't specify, or it does specify where the swell position is, but it's low and middle. Most other bats will tell you that either has a high middle, a high sweet spot, a medium sweet spot, or a low sweet spot. With the Epic, it actually has a low and the middle sweet spot, so the sweet spot's a lot bigger. Um, just to give you a little bit of a sound, let you hear what the ping is like on this bat, and also in the, as it, with the positions. Very nice ping, really nice response from the ball. And the thing I like about it is um, I'm going to watch me bounce it now. I'm going to bounce it from the bottom of the sticker, pardon me, all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see a very even bounce. And that's what I mean. That's right up near the sticker right there. It's still a really decent ping and a really decent bounce. And let me go lower down the face. You'll see there, really good response from the ball all the way up. So the, they've increased the strike zone basically with this uh, GM Epic and maybe that's why they've given it the name Epic because really you're going to be hitting a lot more balls to the boundary with this bat than you would a normal bat. Um, and you can also use it on low bouncing pitches as well as uh, medium to high bouncing pitches because the sweet spot is just that much bigger. So that's very good news uh, as a batsman. Um, they're bringing out bats now with bigger sweet spots. I mean, it's basically having your cake and eating it. So this is the GM Epic. Um, still a, a super balance. This particular bat is uh, 210 and uh, a very, very nice bat. Super balance. Certainly, if I could have 20 or 30 bats in my bag, the GM Epic is probably going to be in there. So I'm really happy with this bat. It looks good. It feels good. Um, really, I really like the design and everything else about it. So if you want the GM Epic, check them out when they come out at cricketstoreonline.com. And I look forward to seeing and hearing from you at facebook.com forward slash cricketstoreonline. Thanks guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.